Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Harris and you're watching Possible Now and today guys I'm going to guide you about that how you can fix all kind of crashes and errors in Dead Island 2 in your system and this video is going to be really interesting guys so just watch the video till the end and if you're new in the channel kindly like this video, share your friends and subscribe to the channel for more content and without any waste of time let's start the video. So guys first of all what you're gonna do is we need to update our graphics driver so if you use nvidia you need to open the nvidia app or nvidia geforce experience and here you need to simply click on download and install the latest driver in your system and the next thing is we need to go to the graphic settings and select your game and in here you need to lower your settings like the main settings for low and pc users you need to lower them like texture setting you need to load them uh, shadows quality view distance kind of setting you need to uh, load, uh, lower them uh, because uh, on low end PC due to heavy load on your CPU and GPU your game crashes and you face different kind of error so simply pause this video and repl replicate this setting and for AMD user guys you can do the same step in your Redon software and once it's done the next thing is we need to install the latest DirectX and Visual Retribution files in our system. So for this you need to visit the official website of DirectX and download the latest DirectX in your system. So like here is the setup, accept the agreement, click to next, install the wing bar, it's optional so it's up to you. Click to next and wait for it. Maybe it takes some time so don't panic and just after a few minutes it's done. Click to finish, get back and now move to the Visual Retribution folder. So same as DirectX, you need to uh, visit the official website of Visual Retribution and download all the visual files in your system. So here is the patch file, run this patch file and it will automatically install all the visual files in your system. And uh, you just need to click to yes, click to ok and rather of these steps it will automatically perform. And if you need this channel guys, kind of like this video, share to your friends and subscribe to the channel for more content. And just follow the screen instruction and in just few minutes it will be done so guys that's it now move to the next part and the next thing is we need to free the cpu memory from the task manager so upon the task manager and here you need to simply like first you need to check the cpu memory here and uh, in case guys your uh, CPU memory is like uh, above the 60 to 70 percent you need to uh, end tasks some programs like in my case I'm recording this video so that's why my CPU space is a little bit high uh, so you need to find some kind of programs or application that takes your CPU memory and right click on that kind of programs and end task it and once your CPU space is free then launch your game and check your problem is resolved or not and the next step is similar to this one like we need to close some background applications so go to the research bar and here you need to type settings and here you need to like go to the privacy section in general there are four options one two three four turn off all of them down below go to your background apps and turn off all the background apps running in your background and here you need to like uh, get back and move to the gaming section and here you need to turn off the game mode option, capture setting, turn it off and only enable your game mode if you have a low end PC and on the right hand side click on graphic settings and here you need to click on browse, add your game here like simply add your game, click to option, set on high performance and click to save and uh, after that guys the next thing is we need to delete some junk or bad files in our system so press window key plus R for this and we need to type here some commands like the first one is prefetch P R E F E T C H. It's the first command. Press OK. Click to continue. Control A. Select all and delete all of these bad files in your system. Skip the step. Again, press Windows key plus R, and this time you need to like type the second command. Percentage temp T E M P. Again, percentage. Press OK. Control A. Select all and delete all these files. It will take some time and uh, once you delete these files from here you need to remove these files also, also from the recycle bin and once it's done guys the last thing is very important we need to install the PC manager app from the official Microsoft store you need to simply open the Microsoft store and here in the research bar type the like PC manager 
I already installed this app. It's a free app and it's a very useful app. So you need to simply install this app first. And once you install it, then open the PC manager. Here it is. You need to click on boost option and it takes a few seconds or minutes and it will boost your PC performance. And there are other options to uh, like reduce the lag and certain kind of issue in your game and boost your PC performance. Like in the process section, you see all these applications or programs. Uh, if you not use any of them, you need to simply click on end and these program will end. And uh, in the like startup app, there are like the same apps. If you not use any of them, you need to simply uh, like turn off uh, these applications. And in the disk cleanup app, it's a very useful like uh, thing. You need to simply click on it and it will calculate the bad and cache file and it will delete them all. And also it will gives you the free storage in your drive. So it's a very useful thing. You need to simply just one click on it. Click to proceed and uh, that's it. It will gives you the like free uh, memory and boost your PC performance. So guys, by applying these simple steps, uh, your problem will be fixed. And uh, if you found this video helpful, kind of like this video, share it to your friends and subscribe to the channel for more content. And we will meet in the next one. Until then, peace out.